Hey guys, it's Guru HD here, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to get the tablet user interface on your LG Google Nexus 4 using the Paranoid Android ROM. If you don't already have the Paranoid Android ROM installed, you're going to need to do that by rooting your phone and then flashing the ROM. And I have videos on both of those, so be sure to check those out before doing this. So, let's get started. So all you have to do to get the tablet user interface on your Nexus 4 is go into the settings, go down into the left panel, and go to customization and hybrid properties. Once you're there, you have a ton of options right here. There are three different tablet user interfaces, and my personal favorite is the one in the middle, which is which gives you a clock, mid-size buttons, and that's just because the ones on the top give you small buttons, five icons and a clock. The one on the bottom gives you two icons, no clock, and fat buttons. And I like the medium size buttons. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And it does require rebooting your phone and granting the Paranoid Android ROM super user permissions. The case on the Nexus 4 is the Distronic case. Be sure to check out that review. And this right here is the Case Case Slim. This one right here is the S Line by Case Case. So be sure to check out those reviews if you're interested in a Nexus 4 case. Okay, now that we got it rebooted, you can see right here that we have the tablet user interface with the back home and recent, and of course 1134. There are a bunch of other uh, different features in the ROM, of course, and I'll go over that in a ROM review for the Paranoid Android ROM. Uh, this is great tablet user interface mode. I use it all the time, and be sure to check out my other videos. Like I said earlier, if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and if you have any issues, comments, questions, or concerns, definitely hit me up in the comments section, and I will catch you guys in the next video.